Hi, Meg Hogan here. I wanted to talk a little bit about a wonderful story that I heard from Jay Abraham. Now, Jay actually does a lot for business in the, the economical world, one of the great mentors in America. What he was saying is that he wanted 20,000 emails to hit his database because that's how he creates his sales through. And so he thought about it, he thought, hmm, what sort of people, what sort of genre was after? So he decided to hit the gym. He went to the gym operator and asked, can I buy 20,000 of your promotional trial deals, which at that time was a $95 um, program for six months trial. And it was a membership basis. And they sort of said, yeah, you could, gee, that's gonna cost a lot. And he said, no, I'm not gonna pay the full retail. I want the rights to be able to bring you 20,000 more people and I want you to give them for me for under a dollar. The guy thought, oh, that's a bit rough. Uh, how am I supposed to make any money out of that? And he said, it's not about you making money out of it now. You're going to make money out of it later. What this is going to do is bring you 20,000 more potential leads, 20,000 people to get to know, like and trust you and they will do repeat business with you. And the guy went, geez, okay, I haven't had 20,000 people come through my door in more than five years. So uh, he said, yes, all right, no worries, we'll give this a go. They worked on a deal that he paid 75 cents each for these 20,000 bulk buy of memberships. So then he went, who would want to be serviced by gym memberships? And he thought, young people. The young people or the good looking people, what do they do? They buy clothes. So he went to a clothing operator and he said to her, do you want to earn more money? And she said, naturally, yeah. And he said, well, I've got a bit of a proposition for you. If you could get people to buy like $200 or more each transaction, um, I want you to give them a free gym membership promotion. Um, and the only thing it's going to cost you is 75 cents each time you give one out. And she thought about it and she thought, yeah, that's really good. That's value adding my clients so they're going to come back to my store because they like the deal. That's really good. So she was on board. What happened? Those 20,000 memberships were all sold. So the people who went to the clothing store, they might have only wanted $180 worth of clothes. They bumped themselves up to paying over $200 just so they could get the free gym membership. Then what happened is they went home and they said, they rung up their friends and so forth. And they said, geez, you've got to come and shop here. This is really good. I want you to come and do a gym thing with me, but you've got to go and buy some new clothes. So they brought all their friends to go and buy $200 or more worth of clothing as well. Not only that, the people who weren't expecting it got a gift and they thought, wow, this is really, really good. I'm, you know, being appreciated for what I'm spending in the store. So they've got now favorable outcomes towards this store. So they found out that the shop owner actually increased their sales more than what they normally do um, just by giving out this value added method. Then we went back to the gym operator. He got presented straight away with $15,000 of a check because he got paid the 75 cents of each of those memberships. So he had money up front. Secondly, he had 20,000 people starting to come through the doors. But not only that, because of the activity that had picked up, the drum, the, the vibrance of the place and so forth, new people were attracted to that. Um, you've heard the old saying that, you know, if you create momentum and activity, it just seems to bundle up more and more and more and more. But when it dies, it sort of dissipates out again. So he had that vibe happening where everyone was coming and it was really good. But what we found out now, this is only a low percent, but 5% decided to continue on with repeat programs, yearly programs, 5%. That's over a thousand people. 1,000 for the 20,000, but all the extras that came in as well. Oh my gosh. So he was earning very well. And obviously Jay got his 20,000 um, new database emails that he needed. As you can see, just some little thinking out of the box there that can actually tweak your business to be respected and partner with other businesses in town. And it creates a win-win situation here a win-win situation over here.
that's the way to do it. Think about it. It's not about what you can get straight away for what you give out. It's sometimes giving extra so you get the lifetime benefit. And when I say the lifetime benefit, what we're looking at is that email or those contact details. It's about attacking a database. It's about following up a database every single year, once, twice, three times. And what you're doing is just, just familiarizing yourself. These people have paid patronage to your business. These people have known, like, and trusted you at some point. And it won't take much if you keep them in your site, uh, giving them your attention and just touching base every now and then, um, that they'll want to come back and do business with you again and again and again. Um, everyone wants to belong. And if they feel that you're one of the go-tos in their book, they will. Think about that. Catch you later.